This tutorial will cover how to vectorize a graphic using Roland Doctor Engrave software. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and launch Doctor Engrave. Once we launch Doctor Engrave, we can maximize our screen, go to our print setup dialog, locate the model of your engraver, click properties and specify the engraving area in either millimeters or inches and click OK and OK. Next we want to do is go ahead and import our graphic. Dr. Engrave only supports BMP and DXF formatted images for vectorization. So if you're working with a TIFF, a JPEG, EPS or AI file you want to make sure you export or save as a dot BMP before bringing it into Dr. Engrave. Once we select that format, we can select the graphic that we want to import, click open, and this will bring up our vectorization window which is called bitmap preview. In the bitmap preview we can adjust our slider bar to decrease or increase the density of our image. Once we have the image adjusted to where we want it, we can simply click OK to perform the vectorization. Once you've vectorized a graphic, you can resize, reposition, and also you can go in and modify the nodes in the graph. To break up the graphic, we can simply right click and click on Break Apart. This will break up your graphic into individual components. Now that we have the individual components, we can go in and we can now select some of these items that we want to delete. Once we've deleted the nodes that we do not want, we can click and drag to select the entire graphic, right click on the graphic, and combine the polygons to make one element. Now if I wanted to fill this graphic, I can right click on the graphic, click fill, enable the fill function, and for the pitch this will be half the size of the engraving tool. As an example, if I'm using a .030 engraving cutter, I would set my fill pitch to half that which is .015, 15 thousandths of an inch. You can add the contour function which will do a cleanup pass on the outer edges of your graphic to give you a nice clean cut. And then to fill the graphic we could simply click OK. Once the graphic is filled, we are done. You may have certain areas as shown here that did not get a fill. The reason for this is that there's an open connection in our graphic. I can go back to my fill uncheck it, take my zoom tool, zoom into the graphic area, and I can look for that open node. As you can see, the open node is right here. So to clean those or to connect those, I can select my node edit tool, zoom into that area, I can select the node, right click, and I can delete that vertex. Take the next one over, and then I can specify snap to vertex. This will snap to that particular point. Then I can go to my next open element and do the same thing. Right click and snap to vertex. At this point, if I select my graphic and click Fill now, it should fill that bottom area. Now, if you wanted to do the opposite, you want to create a filled box and leave the graphic untouched, what you would do is go ahead and uncheck the fill, and we can place a bounding box around the graphic. Once we have a bounding box around it, 
We can then sweep select everything. Again, click and drag over the entire graphic plus the bounding box. Convert to polygon. We can right click again and click on combine polygons. Now we have one complete element. At this point, I can do my fill. Again, right click, click on fill, place a check mark under fill, specify the fill pitch, and click OK. And as you can see, the box will fill, leaving the image itself untouched. This concludes our tutorial. For more information on this and other Roland products, please visit www.rolanddga.com.